Alright, okay, um, my last guy, I saved him for last, um, because it's, he's going to be incredibly missed next year for sure. Um, this is probably, I've been here 30 years, so that's a long time. Well, 30 years next year, not yet, so, uh, but I've been here 30 years. What can you say? He's made the state championship three times, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. He won national championships when he was in middle school. You guys don't know that because he doesn't tell you that, but he was a national champion in the 3,000 meter and I think the 1,500 meter in the eighth grade, which was really incredible. He has improved incredibly over the years, um, and he went to the state championship. He got fifth in the toughest regional in the state this year. He went to the state championship, and it was really incredible. He put it all on the line, guys. You probably talked to him about it. He was 18th place coming down the last three quarters of the mile. And the state championship, the distance between all state and where, where James finished was like seven seconds or eight seconds. And in that eight second span, there was something like 20 runners, 25 runners. So at the state championships, when you cross the line, you're crossing the line with like a whole wild amount of people. And so he was in there with the best of the best and he ran incredible. Guys, if you, how do you get, let me give you a little statistics so you know. Anybody who's been around track before knows if you break 10 minutes in the two mile, you're pretty good, right? That's pretty good, right? Well, the state championships in cross country, James was at nine minutes and 52 seconds and had a mile to go, okay? Think about that. Anybody who runs track who runs a 448 mile, that's a pretty good mile, right, Jacob? You'd be very happy with that. That's where James was at the first mile of the state championships. So what you have to understand is the talent is incredible and the effort's incredible. And he's had a lot of big races. He's going to continue to have a million more big races, which is really cool. Um, and right now, what he's doing is he's just kind of resting and thinking about what's next. Um, his future is obviously very bright. School records, that's got to be next for sure, and track for sure. And then deciding, you know, what he wants to do at the next level. Um, but without a doubt, uh, it was my honor to coach him. And interesting enough, his best quality has nothing to do with his running. Remember how I told you in the beginning of the speech how Mr. Lombardo and I would show up and we didn't know why we were there as coaches? Because I have to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure James Wheatley coached your team for probably the last four years. Okay? So I'm not going to return my paycheck, but I've got to tell you, I think James Wheatley coached your team. Do you guys agree with that? Okay. And I've never had that in my whole life. I felt dumb most of the season. Okay. If you guys haven't figured this out, I started running these half marathon things about three years ago, right? Why do you think I did that? Because I would come to cross country practice and James was already running my team. So I'm thinking, well, I might as well do something. I might as well train for a half marathon. But that's the volume of the person he is. Now, you guys, you have to remember, I've coached runners for 30 years. And usually, when you're a really good runner, what do you probably have to be? You probably got to be pretty selfish. You probably got to say, the heck with the rest of the guys on the team. I'm just going to train myself to get really, really good and win stuff. You know what I'm saying? James didn't do that. He always put you guys first every time. And that was incredible. How can you be the best run, one of the very best runners in the state and at the same time coach the whole darn cross country team? People people come up to me and go like, wow, he's really good. He said, you have no idea. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea. So what's really interesting is he's able to be individually excellent but at the same time, take care of everybody else. That's a rare combination in life. I think all of you guys are gonna be capable of that. It's just James seems to be able to do that right now, which is really cool. Cool, And I hope to keep working with him for sure, James Weekly.